Hello everybody, and welcome back to some more Echelon Book 1. Today we're gonna go find the name giant named... Can't remember his name. Omar. We're gonna go look for Omar today. And just a quick heads up. Um, I'm trying out... I'm switching back to Dextery, and... Might not work so well with this game, so I'd like you guys' opinion, but I used to use Dextery overall. Video quality is usually better. Audio quality is about, should be about the same. But, um, it won't really matter too much for this game, but future games like Dwarf Fortress and stuff. Actually, I might not be able to use this for Dwarf Fortress either. Future games will benefit from this. Um, there's a couple benefits using this over OBS. First off, I'm going to be actually editing the video, so you're not going to hear me clicking the, um, unmute my headphone, or headset, microphone, Jesus. And then, uh, the other thing too, is that, uh, it sharpens some things. It's, uh, I don't know what it's using to scale the image. I'd like to kind of choose what kind of scaling I want, but I'd like the, you know, the best scaling possible. Um... OBS, I think it was just taking exactly what was off the screen, and then Dextery is taking exactly the window, so it's the 800 by 600 uh, window it's taking. So there'll be a little bit of differences. I'd like your guys' opinion on it. If you wanted me to go back to the OBS, or I could try looking for. Uh, Change the scaling options because there no usually there's like bicubic and stuff like that and Lasgos or Lanzos or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, so if I end up finding one of those, I'd end up being better. But I noticed it kind of pops some things out like the hit points. You know, like the text here pops out a little better. Um, the blacks are a little deeper. So it's and it's. Uh, not nah, is like blurry. It's like an overall blurriness in the game. One kind of weird thing is that it ch the colors look like they changed quite a bit in the text. So just uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if this doesn't go over well, I'll do. I'm gonna try and record quite a few few of the day, so I'll just do them this way, and you guys can let me know. And then by the time I'm done, you know. Releasing those few episodes that I record the day, I'll switch back to OBS if you don't like it. So, that's about it. Let's uh, go talk to Omar. Are you Omar? Nope. Omar is going to probably be in a house. The approach this immense being with caution. His size seems almost unbelievable. At least nine feet tall, if you were to guess. He has unique tattoo markings on his chest and arms, unlike any other giant possess. Wears a necklace made of bones and shells. He speaks with a deep, booming voice as you approach. You, human. He speaks. Oh. Although he appears guarded. Oh wait, sorry. What the hell's going on? Why, why you come to our village? Giants crush trespassers. Although he appears guarded about your presence, he shows no sign of fear. Um, I'm a slayer of giants prepared to die. Sounds like the good answer. With my, all my audio testing, I had to reset up audio for DX3. And, uh, these guys are no joke. I'm looking for your tribal leader, Omar. Are you him? He raises an eyebrow as if he's suspicious of your intent. Yes, I keep that name. What well, once, you human? I am Billip. I have been sent here by Urubor Shadowmark to retrieve a goblin key. Do you know what I speak? Omar takes a deep breath and crosses his arms, sticks his tree trunks. Yes, human, I know of a key. Giants retrieved it after goblins sneaked into camp. We crushed them in the jelly and find key. We keep it. Urubor, be friends of giants. He send word you come would come for key. Why you seek key? What have you with the goblins? I'm going to use the key to enter the goblin citadel and destroy Gramuk. The goblin scourge must end. Omar smiles, flaring his nostrils wide. 
All goblins enemies of giants. We support your quest. I will give you a key as Zerbo request, but first, you do tasks for giants. You must show friendship to giants, and then we give you key. And we also help you fight goblins. Together we crush them, little green maggots. Oh, nice. I hope that they actually do show up and we get to fight with them, because it's kind of uh, something I've been thinking about. I'm like, it's going to be a pain in the ass to get through this goblin citadel. And I forced us to have to do a quest. What task will you ask of me? Great giant chieftain named Thoros was killed many seasons ago. A human named Thorndike killed him. I don't like he were an animal. Thorndike was much hated giant slayer. He'd take chieftain's skull back to his hunting cap in the north to display his trophy. Now Chieftain Soul cannot rest until Skull has been returned. Oh. That sounds familiar. You retrieve Chieftain Skull from Thorndike Cap and return with it so we can lay Great Chieftain to rest. You do this for giants and then we know you are a friend. Then we give you Goblin Key and help you fight goblins. Yes, I'll do this task. When you return we will trade and then discuss plans to crush goblins. Uh, of course, I don't have it in my thing. She. I want to check this. Whoop. Shut it. I did nothing. I don't think we could quick travel here. We could try. I believe it's in Blackwater. Fuck me. Um, I can't remember which way we came from. All right, well, here we go. The quest of walking, hopefully. The footstep volume isn't too bad. I think it's alright though. You guys look familiar, you were taking a while. Ah, yes. This sucks. Hopefully, I didn't lead a whole bunch of goblins to the edge, and then I have to now deal with them. Uh, I usually do complain about, um, what do you call it? I usually complain about, um, quick traveling games, but Sarah's a little on the big side to be walking around a bunch, but hopefully we'll just kind of figure it out. I believe we came straight from over here. Hopefully we didn't leave any big monsters over there. These guys are no issue. If I ever need to gain a couple levels and stuff. Minotaurs are fighting. Whatever the hell they are. Werewolves. I don't know. Good lord. I wish I could just bamf. Can I have blink and blink across the map? Yeah, we'll see. I'll, uh... I'll look over these videos one more time and see what I think about um, see what I think about it, how it looks with the X3. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard because you know we're used to seeing it like this now. Oh, der! That's not gonna last long. Oh, man. Hopefully that doesn't get much louder. 
I got my window open so I could get cool air in here because my computer heats my room up super hot. Well, I've been trying to, uh, I'm gonna try and really get this DX3 thing down. And, uh, it's basically preparing for new games when this one's over with. It is getting louder. Surprisingly, it's not coming through. And I'm finding out a lot of things. I actually went and bought an 8 terabyte hard drive so I could uh, free up my 4 terabyte hard drive just for, whoops, for recording purposes. Because uh, DX3's files are huge. And then I need to use Adobe Premiere. Oh, if you guys end up doing your, if you guys end up recording anything and you need uh, an editor, humble bundle. This is gonna be only around Christmas. I don't know how much longer the bundle's gonna be, but Sony Vegas. There's like a Sony Vegas. Uh, I don't know if it's Sony anymore, but uh, the Vegas Pro editing software is on Humble Bundle for $25, and it's got quite a few other kind of interesting things too in the bundle. Good deal considering that it's usually $20... $250 or more. Well that's for the late... I'm not liking where this is going. I could have swore I stored it down there. Uh-oh. I hope I didn't sell it. I really hope I didn't sell it. could watch the video back and see, but I, I just was looking at that because I was comparing the audio. But I'm, uh, got my audio worked out. Oh yeah, anyway, Adobe uh, Premiere and stuff, it's like $20 a month they use, and it's really good, but, and faster. But, um, Vegas actually could use the NVNC codec, which is NVIDIA's, and it's uh, something to think about because it uses your GPU not super heavily. It uses about 15% of my 970. So not the... It doesn't use it a whole lot, but it uses it enough to where it actually renders pretty fast. I think a 30 minute video took 50 minutes, and usually it takes like an hour and 30 minutes, but Premiere looks better, but I didn't really do a good comparison side by side. The only thing is I like using Media Encoder, which I could do um, encode a buttload of videos at once. So. OBS, I didn't have to do any of that shit. Um, OBS, that's a good one. Uh, that's what I was using for... Echelon and all my videos lately, so... I mean, it's not a bad... I mean, it's not a bad, uh... Codec. Oh yeah, goblins. That's where I gotta go, though, so we're gonna just plow through them. I'm just gonna ignore them. Apparently, just know where I'm at. <laughs> oh, 
I guess that's enough of that shit. But anyway, I got the audio all worked out, it sounds like. I'll do a double check one more time. Because I want it to be the, about where exactly where it was at before. But I'm going to actually have the audio taken care of on recording. Because that was a big time waster when I used to use the X3 before in Adobe Audition. Because you would have to... <clears throat> what do you call it? You'd have to work out the volume levels afterwards, because I wasn't, I was doing it, doing it post, so doing it ahead of time is going to be less editing and, you know, still have the benefits of a higher quality with texture. I wish I tested what the dark looks like with the X3 before I did this. Hopefully this giant skull's still here. Oh my goodness, if it's not... Oh, thank goodness. Oh my god. Mm. I'll go back to Blackwater, we're gonna run over there. This is already taken. <sighs> quite a long while. For some reason I'm thinking this is RuneScape and I'm trying to click on the map to move. But you could just go look at some of my older videos and you'll see, uh, you'll be able to tell if there's a, you know, clicks at the beginning that you could hear, like, you know, my keyboard right at the beginning of the videos, like, you know, I'm unmuting my microphone. <clears throat> That's OBS. If there's not, and you hear, like, good fades and stuff from, uh, for the audio, um, that will be DX3. And the quality is really good. I'm thinking about it now, I can actually not use DX3 for Dwarf Fortress because I'm going to need to use Dwarf Therapist. And I'd like you guys to see what's going on in Dwarf Therapist. I got another game that's going to be kind of going at the same time. We're going to be playing Kerbal Space Program again. This time we're actually going to get somewhere. It's one of my favorite games of all time. It's one of them. Not my favorite game of all time. There's a lot to choose from, and I cannot think of what my favorite game of all time is at the moment. Dwarf Fortress is up there. Turbo Space Program is up there. This one, I'm actually... I don't know if this is my... I don't think I could put this as one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, if you guys want to know, like, a fun fact... Try shrinking the video to, like, a small window. I was watching the this in the small window on uh what do you call it because the watching this in media player classic after recording this with the x3 it's just the 800 by 600 window you know it's like really small when you play it back it looks so good when it's in its, you know, natural size and stuff. Like, everything's sharp and crisp. There's no way we could do that, though, because... Would this work? Yeah, I think I could... It's maybe about... So the real window's maybe about... This. You guys are using a... 1080p monitor. I think it's about that size. So actually <laughs> watching this back with that size window would not be good. And playing this with that size window would not be very... easy because it would just be so small. I don't know. Hopefully this all goes good. Alright. 
Time to reimmerse ourselves. Omar looks down at you as you near him. Yes. Oh, almost. I almost clicked on this there. Giants, fuck. Ever turn with your chieftain's skull? Omar takes the skull from you and holds it up, looking in the empty eye sockets for a moment. He then wraps the skull in a fine animal skin and lays it gently on the ground. We will return the skull to his body and Chieftain will be at rest. May we now discuss the key? He smiles. Yes, Philip is our friend and we will help you. You have my permission to remove key from chest. Now giants will also help you fight goblins. Only way into Citadel is through the front gate, but goblins will attack you with great numbers. Giants will come to your aid when this happens. We will help smash goblins' defenses. But giants not follow you inside because we're too big. Go now. Giants will know, know when you move on goblins at all. Giants will be your, by your side, friend. Oh boy, I didn't really think this one through. Are we like ready to go? Is there anything we need to do? I would like some better leveling and stuff. Can I have this gold? They seem to be fine with that. Mm, he's too busy. Looks like you're all too busy. It's okay if I nap here? No. I'm gonna appear by the shore so I can recover my hit points. I don't know, guys. We might just go to the Goblin Citadel. Oh, yeah. I don't know how much is left after that. I don't think I really need the do the reset trick. Oh, you kidding me? Goblins of all things. Follow me! There I go, cat's eyes. Fine. Bliss. I shouldn't have really did this because I forgot. I need the fucking... How about you guys fight the giants that are going to kill you? This is the pre-fight. Guys done fucked up, come in here. See, I made friends with giants. Pitch tent. Here is not safe. Really? What? I don't think the giants are mad at me. I hope not. That's gonna be awkward. Okay. I'll come rest out this way. I'm gonna try and be more cautious now. Because I'm not going to the Citadel without being full health and everything. We can't just teleport to Iridel and heal up like normal. Teleport like I know magic. Good enough. We do have a good advantage. First off, giants. I mean, that's the first thing. Second off... Uh, we also have 
cat's eyes to our advantage, so we could go at night time. The giants seem like they're more than capable of taking out goblins. I don't know. We'll see how this goes, guys. Oof, what the fuck? Yep, quick save. Jesus. Could you imagine if I just fucking... I don't think I saved anywhere there. That would have been horrible. Yeah, that's right. Honestly, I don't think I should be leading more goblins to the attack, but... I don't think that's actually how it works, but I just wanted to... I mean, this is... Yeah, best. Are they gonna have those fucking werewolf dudes? I forgot what those... Torax... Hmm. Trip you guys up with pathing. Oh, that's the end of the map. Where? I thought we found the go goblin citadel already. Uh oh. Hmm. Uh, that wasn't okay. Oh, it's this up here, isn't it? Fuck. Peace. Guys are awful. Where are my giant friends? Where's the entrance? I don't think I found the entrance last time. It might be up here. Oh, that's not okay. Fuck. Well, we did just leave all the mobs away, but... Hmm. I just don't recall. Is there an opening over here? What was that? Just saw something down there. Is that spider? Might have been spiders. Yeah. No. Well, good news is we cleared that side out, so now we can come in here without being attacked by everything. I'd like to start this in this episode. It's been 30 minutes. I don't want to leave you guys hanging with nothing. Be kind of a bitch, bitch move. Really? Fucking what? There's quite a few of you guys over here. Was the entrance in that one spot I didn't go in?
This is the entrance to the Goblin Citadel. Very few humans have seen past these dark walls, and those who have ne never wait, those who have never returned to tell about it. And to the northeast, the Citadel stands as a massive black monolith against the desert sky. From this vantage point, you see that many goblins occupy this inner yard. Makeshift barricades protect archers and hackers. Ready to cha charge anyone foolish enough to enter the gateway. I'm just foolish enough. Realize that once you enter the gateway, all of hell will open up. You only hope that Omar holds true to his promise and that the giants will aid you in your entry into the citadel. Suddenly you hear a war horn and four giants charge in the battle. What is that? Well, I'm not dealing with that, so we'll go ahead. Uh, you... No, I don't need this, really. Let's go like that. Oh, I was about to be really upset. I was like, where did that go? Bow? Is that like a demon? Is this giant losing? Oh, Jesus. <gasps> you guys didn't help at all. Oh, those are like... Heavy duty goblins. Maybe we aren't quite here yet? I guess. Jesus, I'm out of mana. Fuck. Magic's letting me down. Oh. Uh, I think we need haste again. Whoops. I can double. Double haste, I guess. Eh, that's not what I meant. Just haste again. How is it failing over and over again? That didn't help shit. Thank goodness. Level up. Hmm. Guess we'll do... Armand's magic skill, blah, 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 to the amount of magic mana points. Now we'll get more mana points. Also do you... All and divination. Yes. That 
Everyone's full health. Mm hmm. I guess we could turn around and fight them now. We're still blessed. We are. I have this weird feeling this isn't going to go well. Mars doing okay. This went about as well as you'd expect. There's another one there. Probably a giant. Oh Jesus. This off. Switch to bow. I use my awesome bow. I mean arrows. I take this off. Put this on. Oh shit. <clears throat> Do everything, bless. not the kind of help I was expecting from the giants, that's for sure. I'd like to kill this guy, though. No, it's not okay. I'm taking a lot of damage. Alright, I think we're just due for a tactical retreat. We'll come back eventually. This doesn't go very well. Something has been dropped. Hopefully it stays dropped. Acid, blah, 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 blah. It's not going to help me none. I need, like, mass boil. I do not have the money for that, though. Well, I guess this won't hurt none. I want to put this on. Bar of iron. 90. I mean, ouch. That was a big defeat. I mean, there were so many goblins there. What were we supposed to do with four giants? They got steamrolled, those fucking, whatever those are called, were 
hitting so fucking hard. Uh, Omar, if you're still here, you didn't go over there and die. Got bad news. This is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Damn it. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. It lets me know that you want to see more Echelon Book 1 in the future. I think we'll end up trying to take another stab at this, but it does not look... Does not look good. Um, if you like what I do in general, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to leave any kind of feedback, comment, or just want to say hey, I will say hey back. Um, I mean, there's just the fact that we're all grouped up. We can maybe lead them out of there, but that's kind of cheesing it. Hmm. We'll see. Oh, if you guys. Uh, make sure you let me know how, what you think about uh, DX3, how it looks after using that instead. It looks kind of poopy, and then I'll switch back to OBS. We'll figure this out. I mean, there's a goblin set it all after all. Looks like the end game kind of stuff, so see what happens. See you all next time. Take care.